Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Hitler series. I'm Gunnar Madhivanan from Office of the AS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Periodic Labor Force Survey. Periodic Labor Force Survey. So this survey is released by National Statistical Office. And this survey will be giving you data related to employment and unemployment. So Periodic Labor Force Survey is released by National Statistical Office which gives you the data about employment and unemployment. So it releases in a regular interval. What interval? It releases in a quarterly and an annual basis. So on a quarterly basis every three months and once in a year this Periodic Labor Force Survey will be released by National Statistical Office. Now, four important information will be released under this periodic labor force survey. Number one, that is regarding the labor force participation rate. Labor force participation rate. Number two, regarding worker population ratio. Labor force participation rate. Labor force participation rate. Worker population ratio, unemployment rate, and fourth one is activity status. So, here the activity status for 365 days and for last 7 days both will be calculated one by one let me explain first one labor force participation rate before that let us assume the total population in the country let us assume a country here total population is 100 the number of people who are employed who are working number of people who are employed let us assume 30 the number of unemployed the number of unemployed let's assume again 30 see when i say unemployed i'm talking i'm referring those who are willing to work but they are not getting job assume that i'm actively looking for job but i'm not getting job i am unemployed if there is someone who is voluntarily who is not willing to work, he wants to or she wants to simply sit in the house, do nothing. I am not going to take them into consideration. I will take only those who are looking for a job, but they have not, uh, they have not got any job. They are unemployed in our uh, definition here. So in a country, assume the total population is 100, the employed is 30, the unemployed is 30. So here, labor force. When I say labor force, labor force is equal to that employed plus unemployed that is 30 plus 30 that is 60. So labor force in this country is 60, unemployed is 30, employed is 30, total population is 100. Keep that in mind. Now what is labor force participation rate? So labor force participation rate, it is the percentage of labor force, percentage of labor force in total population in total population so percentage of labor force in total population 1600 that is 60 percent in our example this example is for the sake of understanding okay so labor force participation rate is the percentage of labor force in total population now next is worker population ratio worker population ratio so worker population ratio it is the percentage of it is the percentage of employed in total population it is the percentage of employed in total population that is the worker population ratio so the percentage of employed is 30 percentage of employed is i mean employed is 30 30 in total population that is 30 percent so the employed is 30 the 1300 total population is 30 percent the next one is unemployment rate unemployment rate 
So unemployment rate is the percentage of unemployed in labor force. Percentage of unemployed in labor force. Unemployed is 30. Labor force is 60. 30 in 60 is 50 percent. Right? Because unemployed is 30. Labor force is 60. 30 in 60 is 50 percent. So in this example, unemployment is 50 percent. Now next one is the activity status. Activity status. So, in activity status, we have two. So, what we will do is we will check the activity status of a particular individual in the last 365 days. I said activity status, we have two categories one is annual category, another one is weekly category. Weekly category. So, in the survey, what we will do, we will find. When we go for survey, we will be asking, okay, in the last 365 days, what was your work? The person, the individual will say, okay, 100 days I was working for uh, Mandreka, for 20 days I was working here, 60 days I was not working anywhere. So, the status, the activity status for 365 days will be given, that is calculated and we will also ask, so let's say, if today we are going for survey, one week before the survey, one week before the survey, what was the work the individual was doing? He might be working, he might not be working. What was the status? That we will find out. So, in the activity status, we will know that when we survey the people, the people, what was their activity in the last 365 days, that data will be released. What they were doing in last 7 days, that will be released. Right? This data is released by, as I said, National Statistical Office. Here, both urban and a rural information will be taken and survey will be released. But here we have to keep one thing in mind. What is that? On a quarterly basis, on a quarterly basis, the data for urban centers will be available using this 7 days activity status. So, I said this NSO releases this periodic labor force survey on a quarterly and annual basis. Quarterly data is for urban. Quarterly data is pertaining to urban. For urban centers, using this activity status of 7 days, using the activity status of 7 days, for urban centers, on a quarterly basis, data will be available. For both urban and rural, for both urban and rural, both the activity status, 365 day status, 7 day status, both will be taken into consideration and that combined data will be available for both urban as well as rural. Right? So, you will be getting four important data, data labor force participation rate, worker population ratio, urban employ, I mean unemployment rate, unemployment rate and along with that you will get activity status. Activity status, 7 days activity status, 365 days activity status. Right? So, using the 7 days activity status, NSO will be releasing unemployment employment data for urban areas on a quarterly basis. Using the 365 and 7 days, both information together, NSO will be collecting it and employment unemployment data will be available for both urban and rural. So, quarterly is for urban, annual is for both urban and rural that you have to keep in mind, right. So, the data will be keep changing because quarterly, every quarterly, every three months we will be getting data. So, uh, it is not important to remember the data, trend we can keep it in mind. So, in the description, I will give you the uh, content, this labor force participation, I mean the specific labor force surveys content I will give. In that content, I will give you the latest data, okay, those numbers we can go through in the PDF attached in the uh, description or in the comment section, I will pin it, okay. I hope you got some clarity on this topic. I hope the topic was useful. So, I will see you in next video. Till then, bye. Take care.